Hi everyone, so this is video 4.1 part 2. I'll make it as short as sweet as I can. Um, but I want to make sure that you could fill out these three questions. I know something is a quadratic equation or actually even a function, okay, when it's either set equal to 0 or to a number or to or to y, but the highest exponent, highest exponent is a 2, okay? Um, you could also say that when it's in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, that's when it's in standard form. Again, the highest exponent in that is that is, is that, of that is a 2. And this is different from a linear equation because in a linear equation, the highest exponent is a... Did you say it out loud? What is it? It's a 1. Okay, highest exponent is a 1. That's how they differ, and you're going to really want to know the difference because there's different ways to solve them. Okay, a quadratic equation is in vertex form when it looks like y equals a x minus h squared plus k. That's vertex form, okay? Now remember, y, I don't, don't have to just write it as y, I could also write it as f of x equals a x minus h squared plus k. All right, so we spent time graphing quadratics, but now we're going to look at writing a quadratic function from a graph, okay? All right, so there's a couple things that you need to write something in vertex form if you have the graph. You need the vertex and one other point, okay? One other point. Okay, so first I have my vertex, which is right here, which appears to be 2 comma 5. All right, so I'm going to plug that into vertex form. So remember, vertex form is y equals a x minus 2 squared plus 5. I plugged that vertex right in there and there. All right, but now I've got to find the value of a. So to do that, I take that one of those other points, and I see that I have a point here, which is 4, 9. 4, 9, x is 4, y is 9. I plug that in for x and y, and I solve for a. I use substitution. So I'm going to plug in 9 for y. I'm going to leave a, and then 4 minus 2 squared plus 5. Okay, so 9 equals 4 minus 2 squared is 2. 2 squared is 4, so 4a plus 5. Oh, this one's working out really nicely. If I subtract 5, I get 4 equals 4a, and then I divide by 4, so a equals 1. So my equation then would be y equals 1, so I don't have to write that, x minus 2 squared Plus five. So that's just the parent function shifted. Okay? All right, so now I want you to try it on number 36. So let's first identify your vertex. It appears our, our vertex is um, negative 1, negative 4. Yeah, because it appears that every uh, uh, each unit is negative 2. Or is that 3? Hold on. Negative 1. Oh, negative 1, negative 3. Okay? And then a point on the graph right up here is 1, 5. All right, so you have your point, you have your vertex. Now I want you to write an equation um, of your function. All right, now we can also do that if we're just given the points and no graph, okay? I gave you a vertex and a point, so I can do the exact same thing. I'm going to do y equals, I'm going to plug in my vertex a, x minus 1 squared plus 2. I'm going to take my point, 2, negative 5, and substitute it in for x and y to find a. So negative 5 is y times a, plug in the 2 for x, squared plus 2. All right, so we get negative 5 equals 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 squared is 1, so it's just a plus 2. I subtract 2, and so I get negative 7 equals a. So now I rewrite my equation. So my final equation of the parabola is y equals negative 7 times x minus 1 squared plus 2. All right, along with that other one, I want you to try B, okay? 
So I wanted you to do the one prior and B to find your equations. The last thing I want to talk about is a real life example, okay? Oh, did my real life example not come over? All right, so my real life example didn't come over, so I will, um, I'll go over that tomorrow in class. You guys lucked out today. All right, have a great day, guys. See you tomorrow.